Hey, come on, man. Jimbo's back. Yowzer! It's that time. Radio was done with him. Four spouses had enough of her and him. Hopefully the third time is a charm. Get ready to have your ear holes violated. It's wild. It's crazy. It's time. It's the Jimbo and Jackie Show. Yowzer! The crowd goes wild. Here we are again to violate your ear holes. Episode 19 at Reamp Studios. It's a Jimbo and Jackie show. Third time, still a charm. Can you believe it, baby? I I can believe it. I'm excited. It's good to see you again. <laughs> I haven't seen you in seconds. <laughs> Jim's so funny. He'll leave for work in the morning. Get to, He doesn't get to the stop sign at the end of the street, and he'll call my phone. I'm whipped. <laughs> I'll be honest. Because I'm too, I'm too excited. I, there's so many thoughts I have, but I'm... Too busy looking at your beauty, and sometimes I forget what I wanted to tell you. Well, and it probably doesn't help when you leave. I open the door, and I shake my boobies at you. Yeah, that is a plus. <laughs> Got to be honest. It's a great goodbye and uh, to the people that just moved in across the street. You may want to time it properly, and you'll get to know your neighbor a little bit closer. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. That's for damn oh, sure. Oh, he's got a flash in the morning. Yeah, but what we do, we like to be the most positively positive podcast on planet Earth. Yes. And we celebrate life, and we want you to celebrate with us when you can. And right now, this is where we kick off the show, where we make our Shamsky, the official drink of the Jimbo and Jackie show. Third time's the charm. What the hell's in a Shamsky, Jackie? Whiskey and champagne, baby. That's right. Break it down. We pop the cork here. We get we we pop the cork. We get the champagne flowing. The conversation going, and we have the most positively positive podcast on planet Earth. You say it so well. And as soon as I get paid a little bit more, I will take out that camera. <laughs> but for now, do it. I don't think you can. Oh, what oh a, boy. That's a test. Here we go. And I gotta be honest. This this corks a real cork yeah, sucker. Let's go for the camera. You want me to hit the camera? No, yeah, that'll be, we got a special guest. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. We'll do that when we don't have a guest next time. New <laughs> Here we go. Pop that cork. Oh, sounds so good. yeah. Celebrate life. That's what we do. We like to do it with you on episode nineteen. Nineteen, baby. It's been fun. We have a great time and. Uh, as Jackie pours the Shamskis, we like to talk about the number 19. We like to talk about little fun facts about the, the number episode that we're on. And we're on number 19, right? We are. And guess what? What? Guess what? What? Our guest that's coming in, that was one of his numbers. Wow. When he played in the NFL. That's right. We have Mr. Matthew Hatchett, the Hatch. Who he's played for other teams, but he played the the chunk of his career with the Minnesota Vikings, oh, baby. My, you've been so freaking excited. Oh, <laughs> we're bringing in a skull, brother, is what we're going to be doing. <laughs> Matthew Hatchett was not only a Minnesota Viking, but he played on the season that was the best season for the Minnesota Vikings. I need to find you that poster. You've got the poster in our garage on the yes. refrigerator, and half of it's torn off. Well, because uh, reaching for too many beers and stuff. Yeah. It was in better shape, but I do have the Viking receivers on our beer fridge in our garage. Yes, you But did. he was on the 1998 Vikings that went 15-1, and one, which was my favorite season, and also the season that broke my heart. Ah. Uh. Because they were a kick away. Oh. I know. I don't want to be a whiny bitch in front of him, but I'm going to find out how he felt. Because I know how I felt when Gary Anderson missed that field goal and we weren't able to go to the Super Bowl. Well, when, when he gets in here, we're going to refresh everyone's memory about when I realized how important the Vikings were to you. Yes. We'll revisit that we'll story. We'll share that real crappy story, which I hate, but uh, it did showcase... What a big Vikings fan I was. Yes, it did. So, yes. Segment two, we're going to have Viking receiver, Mr. Matthew Hatchett, the Hatch. And, of course, we're going to talk about what it's like to be an NFL player, what it's like to uh, be on the road with the team, all the excitement that comes with it, and find out what he's doing now post-NFL career. Awesome. Because post-radio career, I'm doing this podcast. Yep, best thing ever. All right, and there's something else that's kind of cool about the number 19. I think you like this, Jackie. 
This I'm getting really nerdy on you. I hope you don't mind. Are you ready for me to get nerdy as we cheers our Shamskis? Yes. 19. I looked at the, the periodic charts of the elements, <laughs> which I do quite often. I want you to know. Guess what the 19th element is? The 19th element is... This is cute. You're acting like you know any... Do you know what an element is, Mama? Zion. Uh, Zion, the number one draft pick in the NBA. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Isn't there one that starts with a Z? I'm sure there is. Zinc. <laughs> there you go. The 19th element is one that you love to eat. The 19th element on the periodic chart... Let me put my glasses on so I can even look extra nerdy as I say this. That I love to eat? Your balls? <laughs> no, my, my balls isn't on the periodic <laughs> chart. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of elements brewing inside it, but... The 19th element on the periodic chart is potassium. Potassium. Oh, I love bananas. <laughs> Some of the top foods are with potassium are salmon. I love it. Avocados. Love it. Sweet potatoes. Love it. Spinach. Love it. Watermelon. Love it. Zucchini. Love it. And I ain't going to fall for no banana in my tail. <laughs> <laughs> you did last night. Yeah. <laughs> Yelp Don't sex lie. position coming soon. Don't lie, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so you love the 19th element. Yes, I do. Potassium. I love it. How fun is that? Was that fun, Ashton, or was that nerdy as all hell on the Jimbo and Jackie show? That was pretty nerdy. That was pretty nerdy. I think, <laughs> I think mine was a little better last week. Yeah, it left this reviewer cold. All right, okay. <laughs> well, then we should probably move on because we also like to talk about random facts before we get the show going. Yeah. Here's a random fact, and I'm sure producer Mark can maybe relate to this. There's a new dating term out there called... Hobosexual. Hobosexual? That means anybody who starts dating you because they need a place to stay. Wow. <laughs> Hobosexuals. Have you ever dated a guy just so you had a place to crash? No. No? Maybe married one. <laughs> But I didn't date one. My, so you're, you're, my, my uncle's a homosexual. Is he a homosexual? <laughs> yeah, I just didn't know what it was called, but now I know. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, you homosexual? <laughs> <laughs> How fun is that? Oh, that's hilarious. I remember when I had divorce number one, uh, we had to take turns being in the house for a little bit because it was pretty bad for a while. Oh, and number one and two? Well, yeah, but I mean, no, well, yeah. <laughs> In case you don't know this, you're new to the show. Jackie and I have both been divorced twice, and we're on our third marriage together. That's why it's called Jimbo and Jackie Show. Three times a charm. That's right. But, uh, yeah, I used to, like, call people like, hey, can I crash at your pad? <laughs> I was a homosexual for a little bit. That's funny. Yeah, it's craziness. Another random fact. You want one? I love them. This is going to totally relate to you. Yes. Uh, Native Americans have the highest interracial marriage rate of all. Native Americans marry somebody besides Native Americans 58% of the time. Well, all three of oh. my marriages have been all not, all not, not, not Native, Native American. American. Nope. Isn't that crazy? Yep, that is Jackie's crazy. Jackie's full-blooded. Yes, I am. She has no casino, but she's Native American. She got that. She's got that Native American skin that looks great on the white sheets. Uh, I still got to get white sheets for us. You do. We got close. We got cream. Yeah, I got cream finally. Creamish, and I hate it when you have the blue one on. <laughs> but uh, that's well, a different it's not on now. But check it out. Yeah, we'll talk about that with the Yelp sex position coming up. Oh, you are. Yes. <laughs> okay. It's not even close though. Native Americans marry outside of their kind, so to speak, 58% of the time. Huh. The second is Asians who do it 28% of the time. Really? Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. I wonder why. Have you ever dated a Native American? No, I have not. You have not even dated? Nope, never have even dated Have you ever one. roller skated holding hands with a Native American? <laughs> no. No? No. Nope. Not at all. 
It no. just wasn't in your DNA because you're afraid you're related or something. I, well, that's one of the things back home when you go out and about. Yeah, it's what like happens? A, you go to the bars, you meet somebody and say, "Baby, who's some of your people?" Mark, you want to make sure you're not Mark, freaking related. Mark wants to know if you have any Jewish in you. Me? Yeah. I'm I'm all native. Oh, do I want Jewish in me? <laughs> yeah, you get it? Do I, honey? <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, Jimbo to HR. Yeah, wait. <laughs> wait for me to mess up this marriage. I got a past, you know. <laughs> and so that's the best thing is like uh, when you offer somebody a beer, uh, um, you say, hey, do you like it in the can? <laughs> that's a fun way to do it. All right. Are you ready to kick off episode 19, Jackie? Ready, baby. We're going for it. We switched up the order a little bit, and we're coming at you hard and heavy. Oh, boy. Because we got our next segment, which is what, Jackson? Here's one for you. Hashtag the overpass. It's a Yelp sex position, baby. And somebody sent us this to try. This is by request. They've been following the show, and I wish I tried to look it up. I couldn't find his name, but I thought it was on Instagram. What Jackie and I do each week is we got this great book. You know it's going to be a good relationship when on the very first Valentine she gives you a book called Position of the Day Playbook, everybody. What it is is 365 positions, one for each day. Yep. And Jackie, you got the best voice. What'd you write on the inside? Baby cakes, let the games begin. Love your girl, Jackie. Oh, that's so uh, that's code for let's fuck. <laughs> so basically, we try to find the craziest ones, and we uh, we do it for your listening pleasure. Yes, we do, and we give it a review. It's all about you guys. But this one wasn't in the book, I don't think. No, somebody sent it. It's called the overpass that you're looking at, and. Uh, Jackie, it sounds creepy if I describe it. You do a quick description before we go to the audio tape and really creep out our guest. So I'm on my back with my legs over my ears just about holding yeah. your rump and your 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 back is to me and your it's like your butt sitting on my butt or on my coochie. This is not a position <laughs> you want to do right after the chili cook off. I'm just saying. <laughs> This is a position that you definitely want to shower before. And we did. We had salmon. We ate so clean last <laughs> night. <laughs> we drank. We didn't even drink at dinner last night. We just had water, ate clean, came home, took a shower, and I was nervous as hell still. Yeah. <laughs> what were you? Uh, well, we'll talk about that. I think the audio explains what you were nervous about. As we go to the audio tape of the Jimbo and Jackie show. Third time's a charm. Trying... The, the overpass. overpass. Hit the audio, Mark. All righty. All boned up and ready to do by special request. The overpass. The overpass. The overpass. <laughs> Who sent this? Basically, I forget right now, but we'll give him credit in a little bit. <laughs> but uh, we described it well. The male dominant with the female on her back and... She's going to pull up uh, her legs up in the air like she just don't care. And and uh, it's almost like the, well, <laughs> I don't know what it's like. It's like the human Jenga, wouldn't you say, or something like that, Jackie? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's a little bit busy right now. But uh, it's going to be weird because uh, you're going to have the worst view known to planet... <laughs> Known on the planet. Please don't poo-poo on me. <laughs> what? Please don't poo-poo on me. <laughs> I feel pretty confident I won't, just so you know. That'd be the grossest thing. Uh, well, don't even talk about it that okay. way. Don't bring it into our universe. All right. So you got to do your legs up. <laughs> I know I'm liking my view, but I don't know if you're oh going to like God. mine. <laughs> Take a picture. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that. Oh, God. Take a picture. Is that the hairy tarantula? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't know if I can hold it. Why do, they... Why do these positions always want the guy in the weirdest way? Oh, my God. I got to get this. 
Hold on, we'll blur out everything. All right. <laughs> no, you don't take a picture. No, no pictures on this one. You crazy freakazoid. <laughs> okay, come on. Okay. You got to bend it the way it don't go. You got to bend it and get... There we go. <laughs> what happened to it? <laughs> <laughs> I think it means well. It went bye bye. <laughs> Sometimes it makes you miss missionary. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. Okay. Oh my God. I think it's a fail. I think it's a fail. Oh, it just all went away. There's just so many weird things you got to move and get ready for, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> do what you got to do. No. It ain't happening, is it? No. The over... Whoa! Split! <laughs> oh uh, well, there it is, everybody. The overpass by request. It does not work. And let me just say, if you do attempt it, be sure to have a team shower before the game. <laughs> I was even nervous after a shower. Uh. <laughs> All right, the overpass is uh, under-delivered, so to speak, I guess. And I thought it was going to be easy looking at it. Uh, you think? I thought, oh, that'd be a good but, one. No. Oh, well. Whew, I'm sweating like a banshee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that'll be one and done. See you, overpass. Damn. Oh, my God. Jim went from this, from here to here, to this. He's like, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> what happened to it? <laughs> I go to grab it and it's all. <laughs> it was so weird. <laughs> I don't know. Some of these positions they they make it so awkward that you really can't stand at attention. And I don't know if that's a fifty and fucked moment. And you were doing so good, and then it just went. <laughs> it's just like this is awkward. It's like this is not going in. I got to be honest. I I didn't like the fact that I had to hover my bunghole towards your. Chest. Oh my! I tried to get a picture. <laughs> I, I know my phone would not freaking. <laughs> Thank God your phone has taste. Can you imagine that? If I let a Dookie Hauser. Out on her during the excitement. Oh, my God. But in case you're watching. I can't believe you brought this. I brought the sheet. We had to retire ass. it because it ended up ripping Stupid. in case you're watching it on YouTube. But uh, maybe you can raise uh, money for uh, uh, a charity. Wow. There's a sheet that we ripped up during the excitement. I, I, that, that deserves a little bit more of an explanation. <laughs> the sheet I just had in my hand has been through many Yelp positions. And the overpass was a final straw for it. It tapped out. It tapped out. We ripped the sheets on that one because Ugh. I think some of these, we've discovered some of them are fun. That is so embarrassing. It was. Well, the good news is our guest didn't leave yet. He's still here, right? He's still here. Okay, cool. Get him out. Get him out. But he did just ask if we validate parking. That's right. <laughs> A lot of people don't know this, but that's almost what Lawrence Taylor did to Joe Theismann. That's how he broke his leg right there. <laughs> it was something very similar to that. Oh, well, thank you by request. Feel free. We'll try any freaky position. Yep, you send it our way. We'll try it. Yeah, give it to the Jimbo and Jackie show. Three times a charm. Let's move on to our next segment, Gorgeous, which is? 50 and fuck. Yeah. We're both in our 50s, and sometimes we feel... Fucked. Yep. Yeah, but, uh... You got to laugh about it. Yeah, it, it's fun. It is fun. But it is. Uh, in case you've heard some of our previous episodes, we're kind of proud because this was a summer of what for our kids? Uh, no video games. No at video all. games. No electronics. And they've been brilliant. They've been cute. Totally different children. They've been gorgeous. They've been loving. Yeah. They've been what angels. Ch- what children should be. Yes. Little shit. <laughs> but then I read a story. Uh oh. You ready for this? I don't know. Maybe we should have done the opposite and had them play video games 24 7. No. Listen to this, Jackie. Oh boy. The first Fortnite, the most popular game out right now, which our kids loved, Dri- drove us nuts. The first Fortnite World Cup happened last weekend and it made a bunch of teenagers. Instant millionaires. What? A 16-year-old from Pennsylvania won the grand prize of guess how much? 
They're not millionaires, are they? The grand prize winner. I know. There it is. Pumping in your ear hold some old school video game sound effects. The winner won $3 million for playing Fortnite. And seven other gamers won at least a million. By Honey, playing Fortnite. Are you kidding me? And we this is a summer. We decided to have our kids not play video games. We could have not been 50 and fucked. I know. I'm the so, shitty. <laughs> to I'm, quote, the, I'm the shittiest stepmom I, ever. <laughs> to quote my grandpa, fuck family time. Get on that video game and make us a millionaire. Let me get that shit from under the bed. Holy hell. It's Can you believe that? It's still under the bed. I haven't sold it yet. Do we bring it back out? I I think we start training camp right now for the next fortnight. Shit. The kids were good at it. What do we do, guys? What do we do? <laughs> we stopped it, and some 16-year-old is now a three times millionaire by playing wow. games. Damn it. They're probably fucked up, though. <laughs> you're, you're just trying to make yourself feel better, <laughs> ain't you? I'm, I, I wonder if it got too much dust on it. <laughs> Nobody got time for that. That's right. I got bronchitis. All right. It's time for our next segment, Gorgeous, which is? This week in the history of our beautiful relationship. We reflect. We look back. We have some fun times, right. baby. Let it build up. I love you. I love you. And yes, when we hope you figure it out on your first marriage. Or your second. But it took three for us. It took my dad six. Dad took six times. Six yeah. times. He married one one woman twice. Wow. Talk about recycling. Right. That's crazy. Mm. But this week in the history of our relationship. What'd we do, baby? This was like five years ago. Jackie and I took the family. We got invited out to go sailing. Oh. Oh. I should have told you to have Christopher Cross. Yes, yeah, sailing. A little sailing. If you could pull that up. Away, I meant to say where that. I'm the, going. Pre-meeting, but Jackie will sing it to then. (laughs) (laughs) Beautiful. That beautiful voice will be in studio in the second segment. That was Hatch, former Minnesota Viking, providing the soundtrack to the Jimbo and Jackie show. Third time's a charm. Well, you know you got money if you got a sailboat. Yeah, you would think. And luckily, we got... We got a lot of friends that got money. Yeah, bless their hearts. I'm so happy for them all. Yes. And uh, if you're broke, try to be funny so that your rich friends want to take you places. (laughs) So we went sailing. Yes, we did. Out in the Pacific Ocean. And I'm not big on boats and water. No? No. You're more into dinghies? (laughs) Little dinghy? Dinghies in the bed. Yeah, but we went sailing. And it was a it was like a forty five foot sailboat. It was a nice big one. Yeah, I mean it had a kitchen down there, everything yeah. inside of it. It looked like one of those. Uh, wasn't Tom Hanks on a sailboat for Castaway, where he ended up with Wilson? Yeah, Wilson. But we were in the Pacific Ocean, and we got invited, and we got to bring my kids. Yeah. Now your kids because of marriage. Yeah. And. Uh, uh, at that time, they were aging uh, oh, six geez. to eight years old. Yes. And what happened with you and my and my son, Bryce? So little Brycey, he's like, Jackie, I don't feel good. I was like, you don't, baby? I said, I don't need either. We're just going to sit here. And he's like, boo, boo. I was like, oh. <laughs> so I'm holding his life vest almost the whole freaking time so he can puke over the edge. So Jackie's holding, Sucked. holding him plus... Uh, also we, uh, we, uh, I had to watch my wife puke as she's holding pukey McGee, my son, (laughs) she's puking because it's contagious. I just tried to sit there and hold him and just sleep. (laughs) Yeah. Then he would feel sick and then I would feel sick. It sucked. And then on the opposite end of the spectrum is my eight year old, the chosen one, I call him. He in the middle of the ocean decides that he's going to jump off the sailboat. Yeah, some of them were jumping off, swimming, having a great time. And I'm like thinking, oh, crap, I don't want to go out there. I know what's in that ocean. 
I know the ocean's a freaky place. And then a big bad shark came. <laughs> <laughs> the big brown shark almost came on uh, the overpass during the Yelp sex position. <laughs> I got to say, that would have been freaking hilarious. I yeah. would have hated it, but that would have been hilarious. I never could have looked at you again <laughs> straight in the face if I pooped on you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, we digress. Anyway. Um, my, so I'm like going, he's like, Dad, jump in. And I'm like, I don't want to jump in. There's like sharks and shit. You just, <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? That's what I'm saying in my head. But I got to show my boy that dad's a man. So I look at you while you're puking with my other one. And I'm like, I got to go in. And did Frankie get in with you guys too? No, she just stayed in. She stayed in. She I said, can't remember. Sailing. Is it guess what saying? <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun but crappy day. It was, it was. It was like two out of five family members couldn't handle sailing because they were throwing up. And then I got uh, I got my little Jacques Cousteau James jumping in, yep. making me jump in there, thinking that a giant squid's going to like grab my balls or something. <laughs> you wish. Not- <laughs> All right, it's time for our next segment, Jackie. Before we get our guest, former Viking Matthew Hatchett, what in the wide, wide world of web? That's right. We uh, scour the internet sometimes, and it's amazing what you find. And the internet, well, you got to excuse itself because it lets us be part of it. <laughs> the Jimbo and Jackie show. Three times the charm. But some mom went nutso on the internet. I don't know if you've seen this. I believe it was on Facebook. She did a post, and she was angry as all hell. About her recent visit at Disneyland. Oh, geez. Do you want to read? I'm going to read to you what she said. Okay. And you're a mom. Yes. So this is a mom who is just freaking the F out about Disneyland. And I'm going to do it in the style of Tiff's Diary. All righty. See if I could do that. Let me chug some apple juice quick. (laughs) It pisses me off to no end. When I see childless couples without at Disney World. DW is a family amusement park, yet these immature millennials throw away their money on useless crap. They have no idea the joy and happiness it is to mothers who buy their babies treats and toys. They will never experience the exhaustion that is to chase a three-year-old around and getting stares at assuming I'm a bad mother. This, and then she busts out the C word. I don't even want to say the C word, even though I know I can. This C word. <laughs> and, and some very slutty shorts was buying a Mickey pretzel and Aiden wanted one. But the line was so long, I said later that it broke his poor little heart, and he cried. I wanted to take that fucking pretzel from that (laughs) tramp. Thanks, bitch. You made my son cry. Disney World is for children. People without children need to be banned. (laughs) Mothers with children should be allowed to skip all the lines. You have no idea. Oh, she she went crazy. You have no fucking idea what it's like to stand in line for three hours with a cranky, tired, exhausted toddler. And I can't just tell him that we can't do something because it's vacation time, too, for millennials. I fucking hate children. I fucking hate childless women with a burning passion. So did the lady get a pretzel and her kid didn't? Well, no. I guess she saw a millennial get a pretzel, and then she was all pissed off because that was taking up space oh, where in the line. all these millennials are at Disney World. But if millennials wouldn't go, all of a sudden her kid would have a zippity zoo da day. Jeez. Well, in all honesty, my mom was having a bad day that day. She took you to get a pretzel <laughs> at Disneyland? <laughs> That's crazy. You got a funky mom. She uses a C word. That's crazy. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's hilarious. How can you be that upset? 
I'm, I mean, glad, I'm glad you read it instead of playing the audio of her reading it or something. Oh, she didn't know there was no audio. She oh, there wasn't? Post. Oh. Yeah. So that's what I did it. We hate those kind of that's parks, hilarious. so anyways. Yeah, well, Jim and I aren't amusement park no. people. We're very lucky that our exes take our kids to those parks, and so we're like, going, ah, do, ah, no, yeah, no, no. Yeah, have a ball. Yeah, that's not our thing. No, it's not. But you know what our thing is? What? Having a former NFL player... On the Jimbo and Jackie show. Three times a charm. Damn straight. It's episode 19, violating your ear holes. And coming up, listen to me go goo goo gaga uh, over a man. Uh, it's, it's so a, weird. I love it. It's so cute, I love honey. It. He did what I wanted to do. I love you, goo goo gaga over whatever. Because of football, I got out of band because we had to choose because I had NFL dreams too. <laughs> It was like you had to choose. Do you want to be a football player or play in the band? And and you pick band. And even though I was five <laughs> foot seven and a half, I still picked NFL <laughs> NFL dreams over being in a band. All right, we're gonna take a little bit of a break right now because I gotta go pee pee because I'm so excited. I know. I, I can know. see it all over you. I'm as excited as a millennial buying a pretzel at Disney World. <laughs> we're gonna have former Viking. Hatch, Matthew Hatchett in studio. He played on the Vikings when they had the greatest season of all time in 1998. I want you to ask everything you've been wanting to. I'm ask. asking all it all. It. Ask it all, baby. It's going to be fun. We're going to have a great time here on the Jimbo and Jackie Show. Third time's still a charm. See you in a few minutes. <laughs> Welcome y'all now, come on in to the Jimbo and Jack show You know he's that crazy kooky guy used to be on the radio She's really sweet and her face is neat, they put it up on a big billboard They're too much fun so the previous marriages ended in divorce But the third time's a charm They say the third time John. Long live Jimbo and Jackie. Aha! There you go. Here we go. And Call Pepper drops back. He scrambles. He sees Hatchet in sideline. And the completion of Matthew Hatchet, who walks into the end zone for a touchdown. Bam! Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Got caught up in some footsteps and went down. You know what's funny? Damn. That's when we weren't allowed to dance. Culpepper to and you dance. And the Vikings with their third the touchdown of the first half. Woo! That's the other receivers that Culpepper is finding. I remember that game. I do that, too. That's our guest, damn it. Matthew Hatchett, <laughs> his first reception of the season. And touchdown? That's and badass. Well, thank you. I thank you. I think well, that's the only reason I'm here freaking today. cool, dude. I don't think if I would have scored, I probably wouldn't be here today. Oh, uh, you How would. How cool is that? <laughs> you would. We're back. Segment two of episode 19, the Jimbo and Jackie show. What is it, Matthew? Third time. Third time's a job. That's right. <laughs> with Viking wide receiver Matthew Hatchett uh, in the house. In the building. What's up, buddy? We are so excited to have you be part of this thing. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having me. How badass is that? It was pretty cool. It brought brought me back. It brought me back to what I think that was 99. Uh, Yeah, I just feel so old watching that. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and you said back then you, mm-hmm. you you weren't supposed to be able to celebrate. No, they had strict rules in the NFL. You know, like which at that is point, lame. Which is very lame. Couldn't take off your helmet. Couldn't dance. And now they let them do everything. They let them do a whole uh, course of you know. But you a did a little video. dance. Did you get a penalty a on that? I don't think I did. I probably would have got cut the next day if I did. So oh. I didn't. <laughs> did, did you get didn't. reprimanded? Did any of the coaches say, "Hey, Hatch, settle down a little bit"? If I would have got a yeah, if I would have got a, uh, the flag, <laughs> then Denny Green would have. He definitely would have got on me yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah. So how sure. cool is that? Just so you know, welcome to the show, Hatch. Welcome, honey. Thank We're you. Glad to have We're excited you. to have you Jackie in the <laughs> building. <laughs> and I'm Giddy. I've been a Viking fan since. Well, basically, since they lost to the Raiders in the Super Bowl in 1977. Wow, that's a long time ago. Long oh. time. <laughs> you look younger than that, actually. Uh, well, I appreciate oh. that. Yeah, yeah I absolutely. That. Look at absolutely. the hat sucking that's up to the <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's very, very cool. But, yeah, no, the Viking football... 
fans are nuts, aren't they, Hatch? I love them. I love them. Skull, Viking Skull. Like I said, Skull. I think those are the best fans I have ever uh, played with. Or played for, should I say. Very passionate. Mm-hmm. You very know, honest. Very devoted. honest. Devoted. Yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, I got to say, you get to fly back next week, don't you? Yeah, I'm going to training camp. Uh, I got a couple autograph sessions set up during the weekend and all that yeah. good stuff. So it'll be fun to get back. I usually go back once a season during training camp, and then I go back for a game during the season. How cool is that? So, I love it. I think like I said, Zimmerman kind of welcomes back the older guys. Yeah. You know, we get to kind of hang out, you know, watch practice, and, you know, meet some of the younger guys and, you know, give them a pointer here and there. But for the most part, it's just kind of fun just go back and, you know, listen to your, you know, look at the guys you played with and listen to their stories, how the kids doing, and all that stuff now. So it's now, fun. It's now, fun. who else is going back? Do you know who's going to be? Uh, us I, we never really from? know. You just kind of show up? up and hey, I didn't know you was coming back. Oh, me neither. Yeah, okay, that's cool. You I'm know. not trying to <laughs> brag or outshine you, but I'm part of the <laughs> Inland Empire Vikings Club. Yeah, <laughs> I, I got a I badge. see that. I see. Yeah. You gotta, I see. I don't got one of those, man. I well, we'll that. get you one. <laughs> well, uh, uh, we uh, every Vikings game we show up at a place called Clue. And Redlands, where we all watch okay. the game together. Okay. And what's cool is we do a raffle, and everybody, you know, you pay for the raffle tickets, and all the money goes to the Minnesota Vikings Children's Charity. Nice. That's awesome. That's and awesome. what's badass is the Vikings, they send us cool stuff to raffle, like autographed helmets, pictures, okay. nice. jerseys. So we're a great partner. Okay. Nice. Nice. Well, hopefully, I'll be able to give you guys something as well sometime oh, this that. season. Well, you yeah. already did. How yeah. great was this summer, Jackie, that we uh, awesome. we had a little picnic with the Inland Empire Viking Club. Uh, President Dan, thank you very much. Yeah. President, Dan President Dan. Shout out to President Dan. <laughs> you want some ice cream? <laughs> President Dan, you want some ice cream? Uh, he's a badass president. He makes it all happen, and he was the one that got in contact with you. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you came to our little barbecue. Yeah, yeah. And was, you hung out. Yeah, it was fun. So cool. It it was, was, and that's where we first met. And I think and next year I'm going to be sure to bring a bunch of water guns. I, yes! I think don't don't tell everybody well they guess they might hear this, but <laughs> no, when I taste. show up next year, I'm definitely gonna beware. have some yeah, uh, beware for sure. I mean, that was badass <laughs> you showed up. Yeah. I mean he just showed up, hung out with us, very cool. He let everybody ask questions, mm -hmm. hang out, he signed autographs for the kids and everything. Yeah. yeah. Does yeah. it feel good? It does. Like I said, you know, um, being a retired player, you don't get to do this stuff as much. And uh, when I played, I never took those moments for granted, you know, because, mm -hmm. of course, I was a kid once and wanted autographs. And yep. I was a fan of the sport. And, you know, growing up, that's kind of how you perceive, okay, what would I do in this situation? And then when you're playing, you're like, you're in this situation, make sure that you give back, you know, give back any way you can. Then, of course, being a retired player, you know, I get to do those things here and there, but not as much as, you know, I'd like to as if I was playing still. So. Right on. Well, let's yeah. treat this like a B and I meeting or a little uh, <laughs> chamber. If you had to stand up and tell everybody, uh, for those of uh, of our audience that doesn't know mm -hmm. who you are, mm -hmm. what would you say if you got to stand up? Give us a quick little minute synopsis of what and who of Matthew who I am? is. Oh, man, that's going to take way more than a I minute. know. We'll take it. We're not going <laughs> to stop see. you. I was born by a river. <laughs> Near a little tent. Um, like I said, no, I, you know, retired uh, player, played eight years in the NFL, uh, moved out here to Los Angeles to do a movie and TV production. Nice. Uh, so produced a couple films and right now working on a couple TV shows as well. And uh, still stay in the sports lane by training and coaching high school to college kids as well. Like I said, that's kind of keeps me my passion for the football. You know, when I first got done, yeah. I, I just got away from football. Um, everybody's like, you know, take a vacation, just get away from it. I didn't want to take a vacation, but I wanted to get away from football. And for the most part, like I said, just indulging myself into another industry, to another work industry, right. entertainment industry. But um, for the most part, I, I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to watch it. That I wasn't bitter. I just wanted to be away. I just wanted to relax because I, I was regroup. Yeah, I was the 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 kid. Three hundred sixty five days a year was football. Like yeah. after the season, I would take maybe a week off and I would start working out for the next season. So I and I've been doing that almost pretty much since I was like nine or ten years old. Like I yeah. never took time off. And it was my first time to just get away from football. And, uh, you know, I did it. And then I started getting back and started, you know, being around more kids and trying to give what I learned back during my playing career. And, I, you know, I, I knew that I learned a lot and I had a lot of great teachers, mentors in front of me. And I was able to give that back to certain kids. And, you know, now some of those kids are, you know, playing the NFL themselves. So awesome. it was a good time. So how, how cool is that? 
That's so freaking awesome. I love mm-hmm. it. So I'm just wondering, do you have a favorite team? Uh, well, it's definitely the Vikings. Come yeah, on, for sure. Jake. For sure. That's not even close. I not even that close. Story. Uh, <laughs> so I realized. Do you want to tell the story of when I realized that I that the Vikings was your favorite no. team? No. Patrick, why don't, why don't you tell the story, no. honey? Uh-huh. I, this story never no, happened. No, but okay, hold on. You tell it. If you want to tell them. Tell it, Jackie. Jackie, but you is, tell it. It is kind of uh-huh. kismet. You were, one of your jerseys was number 19. Yes, when I first started as a rookie. Because at the time, again, dating myself, um, all you had to wear 80 to 89. Yeah. But all the our 80 to 89 numbers were taken. So I had to choose a teen number. And now you're allowed to choose a teen number without having an 80s number. And why'd you pick 19? Um, I was like, I wore that in college. And okay. my best friend in high school um, wore 19. And he kind of, he stopped playing in college. And I was like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this for us. You yeah. know, I'm going to still wear, I'm going to rock 19 for us. You know, and, and they just wore 19. <laughs> and isn't it a trip? You're on episode 19, 19 of our show. 19, I, I got oh, that. Oh, it was got meant that. to be. Tell yes. the shitty story, Jack. <laughs> birds of a feather flock together. So when I first moved in with Jim, I've mm-hmm. always loved football. Ball, but I didn't have a particular team that I like. And so we go, we go to someone's house for playoffs, and Vikings are in the playoffs, and mm-hmm. I'm all excited. Well, they lose. Mm. And we get home, and Jim just all the way home. I drove us home and just all the way home. He, Mama, you don't understand. They've been yeah. breaking my heart yeah. since 1975 yeah. or whatever the year <laughs> was. Oh, 77. <laughs> so we get home, and he sits on the edge of the bed. I said, Oh, honey, just yeah. let me take your shoes off. So right, I took right. his shoes it's off. It's okay, baby. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. And I start massaging his feet. Uh-huh. He said, Mama, you don't understand. And so I massage him. I was like, Oh, I'll kiss his feet. I'll All suck right. his toes. I start sucking his toes wow. and he says mama if you want to suck something i'm uh-huh. thinking wow oh. somebody needs to go night night right, and when you right. wake up tomorrow me and all your kids want viking jerseys we are a viking family <laughs> for sure for sure so we Love got it, it. i would have got to it uh, i know but now uh, i hate that story so he called him, a viking that story too so i tucked him in and made him go to bed i'm like i ain't sucking <laughs> shit take your, take your butt to bed <laughs> now you time for that. <laughs> exactly let's move on let's quit living in the past <laughs> but we're gonna go to the past a little bit that's funny. you were on that's the funny. viking team of the greatest season of all time the greatest offense to ever grace the football field in the nfl the 98 vikings absolutely <sighs> And what yeah. was the record again? 15 and 1. 15 yes. and 1. Uh, again. How fun was that season? You know, I, that's, for the most part. That's it was it was all of it was fun. I think even when we traveled, we like get to the the visitors hotel like in that city and we still have like 3, 4, 5,000 people outside the hotel just to kind of watch us walk into the hotel. Rock stars. We were rock stars at the time. You know what I'm saying? That Moss thing was real at the time and That was his rookie you know, season. That was his rookie season and like I said, it was kind of a more exciting brand of football if you yeah. will at the time. And uh, I think the fans just accepted it as like, yo, this is something new and fresh. Um, and we want to be a part of it. So yeah, that whole season was was great up until, of course, the last like, you know, second uh, of our season, yeah. I guess, you know. But it was great. It was a great run. Great run. In case those of you forget, uh, what happened was they were ready to go to the Super Bowl. Yeah, man. And uh, <laughs> Gary Anderson, who made every, every field, goal field goal that season and extra point. Every, yep. Only only kicker to ever be perfect for the whole season. Till that one play. Till that one kick. Really? Yep. See, I didn't know that. Now, yeah. I don't want to go dark. At the locker room after mm-hmm. that game. You know, I, I don't even remember the locker room. I pretty much everybody, you know how you shower after a locker, yeah. you know, after the game, whatever. Pretty much everybody just... Or felt, Yelp's exposition. Mm, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or before. Or okay, before. Every, before with certain maneuvers, right. yeah. Uh, but like like any game, like, you know, you pretty much, uh, if you go in the locker room after a loss, you go in there, kind of you shower, get dressed, whatever. You come out. If you lose, like, you know, like, hey, y'all, let's go. Like, we're yeah. not going out to eat. You win, you kind of go celebrate, you go out to eat. Yeah. Um, and that one, I don't remember, I just remember everybody just throwing their helmet and shoulder pads into their locker. And, and just getting dressed and leaving. Like, nobody yeah. really said anything. Because it was um, a home game, and you take yeah. that back. It's more, <laughs> it's more than just an awe it's, moment. Yeah. This was like we a have to have a moment of Bowl. silence. Hey, I'm, a, I'm a Dolphin fan. We have a lot of awe moments. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, y'all ain't even on the board. I feel yeah, you. Yeah, but you got a perfect season and a Super Bowl ring to cry over, you mofo. I wasn't even born. Uh, okay. <laughs> it doesn't count. Yeah, it doesn't count. Bragger. 
but, but everybody was, it had to been numb. Yeah, like I said, it was it was the it was the moment we'd beat that team ninety nine out of a hundred. It just that one time we you know yeah. we couldn't pull it off. It was something about the football guys not letting that happen at the moment. And the biggest complaint about that game was uh, Denny Green saying, "Let's take a knee and force overtime instead of launching it to Moss, who mm-hmm. caught." Many, many, or yeah. cause pass interference. How do you feel on that call when uh, Denny Green said take a knee? Denny Green says take a knee. We take a knee. No, yeah. you don't question it. I mean, great coach, great coach. He was he was never wrong. He was right. never wrong. He was not. I mean, don't forget. People always say that now. Well, there's a two edged sword to that. We could also drop back, fumble, and they take the ball and kick a field goal to win the game. Yeah. Or we could throw it up and they intercept the ball and run it back and kick a field goal to win the game. So you know, at the, at the moment, so you're we're, cool with the decision. Absolutely, like I say okay. you, you just go into overtime. We don't forget we got the ball back first. And you're at home. And we're at home. So we normally, again, we go down and score, get a field goal. We didn't do that neither. So, again, everything was the done the right way. It just didn't yeah. end the right way. This is part of my therapy. I'm yeah, asking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So it's, it's okay, buddy. It's I know. okay. I know. <laughs> oh. Jim so, has a hard time yeah. with yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure he does too. Absolutely. I mean, I mean, is there is there does it ever wake you up in the middle of the night like going, I could have been in the Super Bowl? Uh I mean, at times you think about like I said, don't forget we were up by ten in that game. I know. Right? So we're over there, we're literally talking about our Super Bowl plans. Like, okay, we're going to Miami, yeah. we get this many tickets, you know, family, hey. my mom's coming down, even my sister, all that stuff was going on. Um, but for the most part, you know, we, we just didn't finish it. Yeah. We didn't, you know, and again, there's a thing to to that as far as giving that message to younger athletes and even, you know, th- people outside of uh, sports is like you have to not just do the work, but you have to finish the work. Right. And to be honest, as a lifelong fan, that season brought us so much joy. Absolutely, yeah. yeah it was yeah. just it was a great six months. Time. It was a great six months. Oh, man. my God. It just God. didn't end the way we yeah. all wanted it to end. But, again, like I said, I, I definitely think that's the – we had the number one offense ever in NFL history. Um, all, the one, the team that broke it, I think, was 2007 Patriots broke our record. Yeah. And I think somebody last year also um, topped what we had. But, yeah. again, we, we we did it with less plays. Um, we weren't going no huddle. You oh, know what I'm saying? Man, so it was it's like, fun. Yeah, to do that, it was exciting. It was so damn exciting. fun to watch. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for bringing so much joy to me. Oh, man. I, I mean, you're bringing me joy <laughs> being on this show. But 1998, I even remember there was a Best Buy ad uh the week before um the game you played Mm -hmm. against against the falcons Falcons, uh and it showed big screen tvs it said get ready for the big game and on there they superimposed broncos and vikings oh because that was supposed to be Ah! yeah do you know that that was the it was the biggest um spread from vegas ever in a playoff game we were favored by 17 and a half points On that game. On that game. Wow. And we ended up losing by three. So, yeah, somebody made money. How does Vegas always get that shit right? <laughs> they, they, they know something we don't know. That's Holy for sure. <laughs> Let's go after the show and figure it out, baby. Damn straight, man. Yeah, that, that Vegas, yeah, you'll look up oh like, God. you know, two and a half, and then there's a field goal at the end of the game. I don't know yeah. how Vegas does it. It's amazing. It. It's, it's absolutely amazing. It's a formula, I know. You know right. what I'm saying? But I don't, I, don't know. I don't know the formula. But what are you doing now? We want to give you the microphone to tell mm-hmm. everybody where they can find Hatch, yeah. projects you're doing, anything. Mm-hmm. Anything you want to plug, feel free mm-hmm. because we appreciate you taking oh, the time yeah, yeah, out and coming yeah. here. Oh, all good. All What's good. up with Hatch? Oh, like I said, I'm just trying to kind of, you know, finagle my way through the entertainment industry. Um, yeah. I think if I was a 22-year-old, you know, coming out here from Ohio and just trying to be in the industry, I probably wouldn't have done it. You know, right. I just, it's um, after having an NFL career, I had a couple doors open when I got done. So that's kind of started the whole process. And now I'm, I'm knee deep in it. Um, so me and, uh, me and Moss, we got a, we got a show. We're trying to do a fishing Who's show. Who's this Moss character? Some, some, ran, some random Moss from Ryan, West Virginia. <laughs> oh my so God. he's so country and, uh, people don't know it, but he's a big fisher. Big yeah. fisherman, I guess you could say. Is that say. right? And so me and him are working on a uh, fishing show um, that we're going to try to get done. For uh, That's going to be huge. It, it, it is. It is. He knows his, he knows his fish and um, kind of just, you know, said interviewing celebrities on a fishing boat. And uh, we're trying to get that 
uh, probably out by February, March of next year. Well, just nice. so you know, Hatch, I like the fish. We like the fish. I'll get you on the boat. There I you would go. love get you on the boat. I don't hey. know nothing about fishing. I'm hey. the first to tell so. you. Hey, why don't we get them on the show? We can all talk about fishing. Right? We can talk about so fish. So we're going on the boat. We'll do a uh, uh, bubblegum shrimp boat. Bubba gum, well, so, shrimp. Randy Moss. <laughs> so back in the day, I used to go fishing on the river with my daddy. Mm-hmm. And we nice. would uh, we'd go dig our worms first, you uh-huh, know. Uh-huh. We'd get on there. and Got to have bait. He'd be on one part of the river. I'd be on the other part. And we'd, I'd throw my pole in. Right. And I'd be sitting there, and Daddy would be down there. And all of a sudden, my pole would go, Bink. And I, oh, she got a bite. Daddy, Daddy, I've got one. He said, Jackie, honey, hush. We're going to scare all the fish all, away. Right, right. <laughs> then about one, you got to get all of them. Yeah. That's, right. that's awesome. But that's cool. I think that's going to be a hit. Yeah, I, I think it is, too. So Is true. Randy Moss as fun as he uh, appears yeah, to he's be? Yeah, he's a character. It, again, the media had portrayed him to, you know, be this guy, mean, and, uh, you know, not a good teammate and yeah. selfish. It, it was it was none of that. Like I said, there, there's not one guy in our locker room that would ever said Randy Moss was a bad teammate and i want to quote my grandma here when she said fuck joe buck <laughs> wasn't that bullshit when he <laughs> pretended to moon the green bay packer crowd and yeah. joe buck acted like it was he was the Club worst bay thing Seals. ever uh, it's what's the big deal yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. i mean like, the, the, what i'm finding out about a lot of this media thing is there's just people that don't like each other right, right. personally they literally just don't yeah. like each other so when somebody's on that platform and they talk about you know somebody's actions it's just coming from a personal point of view of, of them not liking right. each other they don't have any facts or any more information about What's knowing the person they just don't know them in case you, you know, know what we're talking about right now there was a game where the vikings were playing the packers at lambeau field at lambeau and they yeah. have a tradition at lambeau field when the visiting team bus leaves all the packer fans moon the bus mm-hmm. randy moss scored a touchdown so he went by the the, Those the, fans, the yeah. field goal post mm-hmm. and pretended yeah. to moon them. Uh-huh. And Joe yeah. Buck said, oh, my God, this is a disgusting yeah. act. Yeah. And it was like, <laughs> I thought it was hilarious because yeah. he was kind of mocking what all the Packer fans right, do. Right, right, right. And But Joe Buck's reaction, I guess, blew everything out of proportion, of course. was Randy? Does Randy Moss hate Joe Buck? Uh, Randy Moss doesn't care about yeah. Joe Buck. Yeah. Uh, straight cash, so, homie. Straight cash, homie. You dig. <laughs> so then the next week, Joe Buck was found in the whorehouse? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been great. <laughs> you can suck it, Joe Buck. <laughs> Hatch, I found a really cool story, and I want to run this by you. Uh-oh. Uh, Is it about me? Uh, well, it's about football. Okay, that's and I wanna, good. I, it's going to lead into you. Uh-oh. But this season, mm-hmm. a uh, a Steeler fan went to the uh to the training camp to hang out and watch, mm-hmm. and he had uh, Juju Smith Schuster. Yep, I know. Juju. Came up to him, and he he had a tattoo of the Pittsburgh Steelers on yeah. the side of his head, and he had Juju autograph it. Yeah, yeah. And then Juju said, "If you get that tatted, uh, I'll give you tickets to any Steeler game that you want to go to." Yeah. He went straight to a uh, tat shop, yeah. got it tattooed, and Juju picked it up a notch. He's, he gave him season, season tickets, tickets. As well he should. That's yeah. so cool. <laughs> So I just want to ask you, what's like the coolest fan interaction you ever had besides had, being on this show? Yeah, nothing like that for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I mean, today with social media, it's a whole different thing because right. you have all of you, know, you have your own fan base. Like I said, Juju's fans are specifically for Juju. Like we yeah. didn't have that. We just you know we had a lot of great Viking fans, um, and like I said, we did autograph sessions and stuff like that. But we weren't able to keep in touch with them or see them anymore. Right. You know, it's like you leave the stadium. If you don't see your fans at the stadium, you don't see them. A different and time. A different time. And now he can react, you know, or um, interact with his fans every single day, and he loves that stuff. Yeah, um, I, I coached him in uh, in high school a little bit. I was at Long Beach Poly. Oh, is that right? And uh, then I coached him at the Nike Open uh, when I had him out there um, for um, for football. So, but when he was in high school, but yeah, he's a good kid. But he loves to interact with his fan base, and it's helping him out, you know, as far as making off the field money. Right. And like I said, it's a great thing for him, and great great for the fan base. And a lot of these guys are doing stuff like this. Um, now, is that you know a little bit far fetched? No, I think it's great. I think it's, it's going to get a little bit more, of course. Att- Tension once you know the guy goes gets a tattoo and then they yeah. talk about it again. Like everybody on you know the media outlets talk about it. I think it's great for football and great for the sport. I'll be honest with you. I used to be uh, a rock DJ. 
Mm -hmm. And I wish I was a little bit older when they had uh, the time period where the record labels would come in and do a little more pay to play yeah they would bring in the big <laughs> albums and uh sometimes they would bring in little party favors yeah. to say hey play this album and stuff yeah. so i wish i was a little bit older with my rock dj-ness mm -hmm. did you play in the era that you if you could exchange any time period mm -hmm. would you want to just stay in the period that you played would you want to play <sighs> older or would you want to play right now I, I would have wanted to play when I played, uh, just yeah. be, just because that's when it was is a little bit more real. Right now, it's entertainment. What you guys yeah. are watching the NFL is entertainment. True. It's they got like, a network. It's got an, it's got to stick around for longer. Yeah, right. Like when we were playing, it was really about the, the more of the heart of a player. Like mm -hmm. I said, you had to go out, you had to work your butt off, you you couldn't miss, you couldn't be doing this. It's like you had to focus on just ball. And right now, everybody's focused on off the field stuff instead right. of focus on focusing on on the field stuff and the i like i like the main product i liked real ball um you know and that's that was the most important thing to me right on you know well we're gonna do something right now we're gonna do burp wars <laughs> you're the best <laughs> wait, I, wait wait oh wait, oh, wait, wait our wait, producer wait, wait. mark uh -oh. is uh -oh. waving his hand what's uh, up no i, I want to be a fan for a minute okay uh -huh. you got a question Yay. well following up on what you just asked them you know I, they tell me i'm a little older than everybody here oh. No. Yeah, <laughs> but they call me grandpa. But uh, now, do the Viking players still revere the era of the purple people eaters? Yeah, we we do talk. Well, we always had like autograph sessions, and we would always see uh, like uh, well, Bob Lurchman always was around. Um, Marsha was always around. Yeah, uh, we, we would see Alan Page, you know. Yeah. And so we were always Chuck Foreman would come and all. So we would always see like the older guys. Um, so I kind of we always would pay homage to those guys. As would well. they call you wusses for playing in a dome? Uh, yeah. probably yeah. Yeah. But that, when they think about it, it's probably smart though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to be out there in that two below zero, man. I ain't trying to hear all that. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I think back to the days where they played out in the cold. Yeah. And you could see the steam. Coming yeah. Yeah. Ain't nobody got time for that. That was, oh, not an option. <laughs> now by cracky, that was football. <laughs> <laughs> There's the old guy talking, trying right. to tell you. And I remember because because Denny Green didn't like the cold neither. So when we even like practice, we'd practice in the bubble inside when yeah. it got like below forty. Yeah. Because Denny Green's philosophy was, I don't want the guys out here complaining it's cold and not focusing on the job at hand. Right. If we have a practice Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I need perfect practices. So we're going to go inside the bubble and we're going to practice with, you know, get all these reps, make them perfect. And yes. then mentally you'll handle that on Sunday. But I'm right. not I don't want my guys practicing and not being focused for the practice. You sound like me with Yelp sex position. <laughs> there you I go. want the conditions perfect. Yeah. I can't have it too cold. Yeah. I can't have some shrinkage. Yeah. I need it. I, to hey, I tell you what, I think those that's for 21 and under. Hey. That, that, ain't, that ain't for everybody. That buddy. is an awkward position. <laughs> hey, I, I, I'm going to be 54 in November and I get hot as hell. Just uh -huh. randomly, so I, like, <laughs> I, so I like a fan on me. Uh, yeah, and so yeah, yeah. if I have the fan blowing on us and we're uh -huh. trying to do that, she, Jim's like, "Mama, you got to turn the fan off." <laughs> <laughs> That's too big He's of a breeze on the boys. <laughs> That's why it disappeared last night, huh? Well, a couple other things, too. Uh, hats, have, hey. you, have you ever done the overpass? I never even heard of the overpass. Yeah. Do you I, have any desire to do the overpass? Zero at all. Again, 21 and under. That's what that is for, man. They got to put age limits under those things, They really man. do, because the way your butt's up or your yeah, stuff. Y'all you, you, go yeah. end up in the hospital. Y'all keep trying that stuff. I'm telling you. You better have glow sticks to do that. That's what's and going a, on. And a trainer. Uh, yeah, exactly. I almost pulled Stretching. a hammy on that move. I about to say, you got to get stretched out, buddy. Look at producer right. Mark wants to rub in the face of uh, all the cold weather games. He's Look showing that. Vikings breathing. That's when I became a fan because it was back in 1977 in Metropolitan Stadium. That's when they used to smoke on the field. That's right. Really? That, ain't, that ain't even all cold air. That's yeah. cigarette smoke. Yeah, they had Marlboros and Camels yeah. in the huddle. <laughs> And in the off season, they worked at Sears in the hardware Pretty department. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Everybody had Nobody a job in the out. off season. All right, we're gonna do something called Burp Wars. What? Uh.
I should have saved it. Uh, yeah. I, I should have saved it. Matthew, you want to do one with Fiji? I, I, yeah, you, I, I don't you know gotta if try I can. It. You got to try I'm not a big burper. This well, is something called see. Shambongs. It's a, a champagne glass uh-huh. that uh, has, a, instead of a stem going down, it bends. Oh, he's going to do so it right out of the it. bottle. Uh. You can take that. <laughs> I got nothing. Oh, I he's got, got nothing. nothing. All right, Jackie's going to shambong. But while we shambong, we have a bargument. Uh, if you can answer this, Hatch. Huh. Are you ready? What you got? Oh, wait, wait. I haven't even I haven't even uh, started the ceremony of the Burp Wars. Oh, that's oh. right. We played oh, a Star Wars it. theme. Sorry about that. There it is, everybody. It's our next segment of the show with Some our very special guest, ever. former Minnesota Viking receiver Matthew Hatchett. Which looks great on a jersey. Hatchet. It does. Everybody needs to have a hatchet jersey. Hatch. <laughs> Jackie is shambonging. We want wow. you to think. Would you rather give up all car oh. cell phone conversations or have to always <laughs> drive the speed limit? She is spewing all you over. You guys don't have HR. No. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, give me, I'm sorry, second. give me that question again. That's give right. me that question again. I understand why you got distracted. <laughs> Would you rather give up all car cell phone conversations right. or have to always drive the speed limit? In L.A.? Oh, you, you have to talk on the phone in the car. You gotta. Because you're in the car for eight hours a day. Okay. So I have to have my phone conversations in the car. Are you a speeder? I am, but I can, I'll go slow as long as I can talk on the phone. Yeah. You know? Uh, what? Hey! Hey! Wow! HR! HR! <laughs> a beautiful woman doing disgusting things is awesome. You're proud it's of yourself. Like, as well, she should be. <laughs> right on, Jimbo. That's a keeper. <laughs> <laughs> I he hope so. Knows. Oh wait! <laughs> Girls, Girls rule! rule. Oh, All look, right, look, look at me! Up. I just laid it down like the game's over. <laughs> I know. Cause you know I usually I, can, I definitely this. don't have that. I don't. I don't that was have impressive. That, that was that was a winner. Winner, and winner, chicken dinner. You can uh, take this anyway, but she could do it at both ends. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> HR. Ah, wow, wow. <laughs> Once again, Jackie, Bye-bye. answer this while I chug the shambong. Would you rather give up all car cell phone conversations or have to always drive the speed limit as I shambong? Go ahead, talk, Jackie. Well, uh, I never do the speed limit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> Hold on, I help Johnny. <laughs> oh, almost. That was I'm pretty. That was, that was pretty was, damn good. That was one B. Yeah. She's one A. That was one B. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> but you're a one. Yeah. You're a one. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> and we go to the the judge in the studio. Asked him. Sudden death. Oh. oh! They want us to do more, more, more. Maybe we'll do more, that more, in more, segment more, three more. after Jackie <laughs> says, "Cell phone car conversations or, or speed limit." I would, uh, I would, I want to talk on my phone. So what's that? <laughs> so you want you let you the speed give it limit. up? There can't you go. Give that up. Yeah, I, I can't give it up. I've but never... I gave it up on our first date. There you go. Wait. <laughs> We're not talking about cell phones, ladies Wait. and gentlemen. That's right. Don't worry, my kids don't listen. Okay. And we, I know who in California listen. does the speed limit anyway. Right? I mean, come on. Good Lord. Forget about that. All right. We're going to take a quick little break. We're going to have more with Hatch, Minnesota Viking receiver. I'm Goo Goo Gaga. I feel like a 12 year old boy. <laughs> we got Jackie Southern saying. I think you're more Goo Goo Gaga than Taterbug now. Taterbug. Jeez. Taterbug. Taterbug. We're going to FaceTime her. <laughs> yeah. We'll never listen to this show, we hope. No, <laughs> she won't. Because she doesn't need to hear about her mom doing the overpass. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, a quick little break. More to come on episode 19 of the Jimbo and Jackie show. Third time's a charm. Go hat. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, podcast community. It's Jimbo. And Jackie. From the Jimbo and Jackie show. Third time's a charm. Are you making way too much money, said nobody ever? Ever. That's right. That's why we want to give you a great opportunity to sponsor this show. Reach out. Touch us. How do you get to us, Jackie? Contact us at info at reampstudios.com. Or the Jackie and Jimbo show at reampstudios.com. So close. That second one was an error. It's the Jimbo and Jackie <laughs> show at reampstudios.com. 
Violet Ear Holes with us. Let's have a good time. Be a sponsor, and Jackie might even sing your jingle, right, damn it? That's right, damn it. All right, we'll see you soon. Say bye, Jackie. Bye-bye, y'all. See ya. You want to hear another great Jersey story? Yes, please. Um, <laughs> my beautiful bride, Jackie, over here. That's me. We, uh, <laughs> we, because we're part of the Inland Empire Vikings Club, uh, we went back to go catch a Viking game, mm-hmm. and we we knew the, the PR guy for the Vikings. Yeah, yeah. And he gave us a tour of the facilities. Yeah, yeah. And, Which are awesome, by the way. Oh, uh, yeah. gorgeous. So cool. <laughs> and we're he's giving us a tour, all the all the teams out because the next day was a, a game, but it was when Adrian Peterson was injured, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and we walked through the weight room, and all of a sudden I'm like looking under the squat rack, some big dude over there was Adrian up 700 Peterson, pounds, <laughs> yeah, and we're like going, we're like walking through, and I'm like, our guide says, hey. Keep it up, Adrian. I said, Adrian, we want to see you on the field. Keep it going. Mm-hmm. He's like, you got it. And he's doing his squats and right. stuff. And later that night in our hotel room, mm-hmm. Jackie, what would you ask me to do? Honey, mm-hmm. would you put on Adrian Peterson nah. jersey? <laughs> <laughs> so we tried to make a baby, <laughs> but she Adrian made me Peterson wear an Adrian Jersey's Peterson jersey. jersey. <laughs> he's like, hell yeah. <laughs> Have you ever made sweet love uh, in your jersey? Absolutely not. No. You haven't? No. Why? No. I, we never have our own jerseys. They're you all, have, I, do you have I, any I'm, football jerseys in your closet? I mean, mom has all that stuff. But, I mean, know. do you have any I don't have jerseys? one. I don't have why one. Because you've been there, done that. Why not, babe? We, we, I mean, if you were... <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> This I always- okay, so so when you're young, right, when you're a rookie in the league, right, yeah. they give you this bag of all the Viking gear, all the Jets gear, whatever team you're on, right? Yeah. And if you put it on, you put your hoodie on, you put yeah. your, you know, you put your sweatsuit you on, you it. put your hat, you made it, right? Yeah. And after that first day, you never put that stuff on again. No. Really? All that stuff you always give away. You just it's your just family and friends. Family and friends because yeah. they appreciate it more and you're you you're trying to share the moment more right. than have the moment be about you. And a jersey would always go to family and friends. I would ne- I don't think I've ever had like jerseys. That, but hatch. Know, I would never oh wear my, my own jersey. Hatch. Now there's always the one guy that would do that. That'd be me. That would that might have been you, yeah. Jimbo. But Jim I and I never, had that eleven I'll, jerseys yeah. still. Yeah, I would never do Hatch. that. That wasn't me. Go ahead and ask me a question. <laughs> Say, Jimbo, why were you number 11? Jimbo, why? Please, oh, please tell me why were you number 11. <laughs> I was so good, I need two number ones. <laughs> <laughs> Don't ever tell that story again. <laughs> <laughs> I love that story. <laughs> but you it. never had a sweet little beautiful woman, a little flower. That saying, wore my jersey, yes. Yeah. I'm talking about me personally, no. But you never had anybody uh, say, keep your jersey on, gorgeous. No, no. And then, now you no. sound like me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, no. that's all right. Yeah, I, love, all right. I love making love to Jim in a, in a, in a, Jimbo, in a Jimbo Jackie shirt. There's ah, a charm. We got to get y'all some hatchet jerseys. <laughs> oh, I like that. I, I like hatchet that. Hatchet I can't believe jersey. you don't have your own hatchet jersey and wear that shit. Pro- no, I'd be wearing would, it everywhere. It's yeah. like, who wants it? If I were, yeah, if I wore it, I, I would, something's wrong with me. If you see me, uh, if you see me walking around in a hatchet jersey, well, something is seriously wrong. Honey, with me. I got me and Jim's faces on my pants. That is hilarious. Is something wrong I with that me? Was, I thought that was Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we are. You've been listening I've heard, to this show. I've heard Sometimes that so we much. are. <laughs> right? That is Look classic. Look how cute. Oh, that's awesome. Look at, and third time's a charm. <laughs> third time's a charm. <laughs> now let me ask you, Hatch. Who's the coolest person you met because you played for the oh, Minnesota man. Vikings? Oh, there was only one. There was, growing up, I was never, like, you know, shell-shocked or, you know, shocked by meeting. Well, I guess I didn't meet anybody in Ohio, really. But I never really wanted to meet anybody. There was yeah. only one person ever, right? Ooh. When I asked my mom, like, who do you want to meet? You know, when I became a Viking, she's like, oh, it doesn't matter. So I guess I got it from her. And But my biggest, uh, you know, celebrity, whatever, growing up was Michael Jordan. I, I was him. the biggest Jordan fan in the world. Air I'm, I'm talking about, you know, bedroom, every, that's yeah. when you used to cut out uh, Sports Illustrated and yeah. every picture was like on my wall. Right. In my whole room, right? 
So um, in 99, you know, Moss was the first football player to re- wear brand Jordan. And like he didn't have cleats. Remember, he had basketball shoes, yeah. of course, but he never had cleats. So Moss, most of the time he was playing on turf. There you go. So, so we um so so Moss signed with Jordan. So um everybody knew that Mike was going to come this one game or whatever. So I I come in the locker, <laughs> and you got like me on this show, didn't you? Oh, man, you I'm, got giddy. Oh, I'm I'm worse. I'm way. Oh, <laughs> I'm getting giddy right now. <laughs> so. So I like I walk in the locker room and I see him over there. He's talking to a couple of the other players and I'm like, okay, just wait, just wait, just wait. And I'm just you know getting nervous and like, oh, hey, my guy's Michael Jordan. Oh my goodness! And you know, he turned to me. I'm like, hey Mike, how you doing? And I said it in my head like that, yeah. but my voice is like, hey Mike, how you doing? <laughs> And I was like, right. I'm like, and, and then I'm in, I'm inner monologuing, yeah. like, why is my voice so high right now? Why right. is my forehead sweating? And then you try to be cool, and then you can't be cool because but you're it's a giddy Mike. School and, girl. Oh my gosh, I was like a 13 year old girl. For uh, the, I, yeah. I really was, but I, I met Mike, and I was like, that's it. I can die now. Yeah. So, you know? and you played basketball for a while, right? Um, in, ever, high sc- in high school, in yeah. high school, yeah. you did. Oh, okay. yeah. Everything was about my yeah. Twenty three this oh, and wow. Jordans yeah. this, and uh, we were red and black in in high school for our uniforms. Everything was about Michael Jordan. Even though I was a football person, my persona I wanted to, to be the Michael Jordan of the NFL. Right. The persona right. of it, the the work ethic, the how you carry yourself, yeah. to the change, the sport, if you will. Yeah. Um, that was the goal. Um, but it was just the Michael Jordan image. Even though I was playing football. Now, don't you think my catch should almost be like an Air Jordan? It's very yeah. similar. You got to change. You gotta, if you yeah. turned it. If we turned it. If we turned it, took the helmet off, <laughs> grew a foot, got a tan, took the cleats off. It'd be the same thing. It'd be the exact same thing. Exact same thing. <laughs> so besides, while you were growing up, you had Michael oh Jordan God. posters on your wall. Oh, What else Jordan. did you have? Was it just um, Jordan? It was. Just Jordan. I was Just it Jordan. was Jordan and, and the Pittsburgh Steelers. I was a huge Steelers fan, but I didn't have no pictures of the Steelers. But on I was from Cleveland, yeah. So my whole family loved the Browns, and yeah. of course I, that's me. Going everybody else goes left, I go right. That's Isn't it weird ass. though? They don't have a logo on their helmet. That's kind of lame. <laughs> um, or is it old school? It's old school. Yeah. It's old school. You think I, it's cool? It is now. I mean, yeah. everybody they love the Browns uniform. They're gonna now. do good this year. They're gonna be all right. Yeah, they're gonna be good for the Browns. Right. They're not gonna be good for yeah. Super Bowl contender. Like if they win four, saying. that's awesome. They're everybody's yeah, but they'll the win more than going, that. Yeah, I think they'll go eight and eight, and the city will go so. crazy. Um, so you had a bunch of Jordan posters hanging Jordan. on your wall. Yep, all Jordan. Um, again, it was uh, Steelers and football. I think I liked yeah. the 49ers, but I didn't really get into liking players. Um, till I was probably like in college, you know, and yeah. I started watching your your Jerry Rice's, your Michael Irvins, stuff like that. Right on. So, did you get to play with any of those guys that were your heroes? Um, I, I, I Randall Cunningham, because I when I was in high school, I was a quarterback, and I was uh, the high school equivalent at the time to Randall Cunningham. Oh. And then you're like, and going, holy then crap! I'm I playing got catch in the huddle. Randall Cunningham. Yeah, I got in the huddle one time. <laughs> I'm like, I'm in the huddle with Randall Cunningham. Oh, that's, that's so cool. fucking cool. Um, and he was kind of my mentor when I was with the Vikings, and like we said, we became close friends. And did you tell I, him that? Oh yeah, all the time. Yeah. all the time. I told him all the time. Like, I was you, I, man. I was Randall Cunningham. I think you're know? pretty groovy. Uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> you all right with me, man? <laughs> <laughs> well, what's funny is uh, we did a topic on our show called we do something called three things. And one of the things we talked about was what was the three posters you mm-hmm. had on your wall? Yeah. Uh-huh. And what was crazy is, thanks to the show, my buddy Michael Marfis mm-hmm. sent me a poster. Of what you had on your wall? Yes. Wow. Check that this out. Awesome. And you got to tell him the story what happened to it. Well, what happened was this, uh, this poster that I had on my wall when I was growing up, my dad had me go get and bring it over to Mr. Walker, who was a truck driver, but he had <laughs> six hot daughters uh-huh. that I would always go over and listen to Aerosmith uh-huh. and look at them not wear bras, if you know what I mean. And uh, he, my dad had me bring this poster over, and he looked at it, and he crumpled it up Whoa. in front of me. Oh. Yeah, that hurt. But that hurt right there. Uh, here's the poster, thanks to Michael Marfis. He sent me the poster that I talked about. Kiss. Yes. Wow. I remember that. I was so scared of that poster. 
I was scared to death of that poster. It was a crazy one, wasn't it? <laughs> it was a 1976 tour. They were dressed up like the guys who... Uh, uh, the, <laughs> <laughs> the guys who celebrated the victory of awesome. over the English. So That's he awesome. sent me that. So that leads us into our next segment, Jackie, doesn't That's it? Awesome. What is it, beautiful? It looked like it said shrimp for a minute, but it says three things with three hatch. things. <laughs> and we're gonna hang out with Matthew Hatchett, wide receiver for the Vikings back in the day, who played in the best I, I, season I, 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 of all time. Of all time, 1998 when they went 15 and one. We're gonna oh. say three things <laughs> mm-hmm. that are better than, than football. football. Than the foosball. Ooh. So we go around the horn. We try to sue, say one thing each. We go three to one. Three to one. So pick, uh, do you want to listen to ours yeah, or do you want to start it off? Why don't All you right. start it, baby? Jackie, the number three thing on my list of things that are better than football is when your kids squeeze your face and kiss you, Aww. and they say, I love you. Oh, absolutely. I absolutely. need to change all my mind uh, all. <laughs> <laughs> You had beer pong down for yours. <laughs> Mine are all adult friendly. Not, do you have any kids, Hatch? Uh, I do not. I do not. Oh, Lucky, be smart. I, don't start. <laughs> <laughs> one, one day, one day. Uh, no, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Tater bug doesn't have any uh, either. Uh, all right, Tater bug. <laughs> You're pushing our daughter on, Hatch? <laughs> Uh, but no, when your kid looks at you straight in your eyes and squeezes your face and says, I love you, yeah. that is just... Aww. That's the moment. Absolutely. Amazing. Absolutely. It's amazing. Jackie, what's your number three thing that's better than football? Besides beer pong. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> girls Weekend in Palm Springs. Okay. Uh, it's better than football. For, absolutely, I, yeah, for girls, what, I don't understand what's that. What's Girls Weekend? Nutshell. What do you do? So for the past 20 years, we've gone to... Um, the, the Marriott. Yep. And stay, we stay right on the golf course. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We bring the beer bong, the champagne bong now. They want to hey. have fun, don't they? Hey. That's Those all we want. Girls. Hey. Uh, uh, Break it down, Mama. The of night. <laughs> okay. <I'm sorry. laughs> I was Cindy thinking that's before. really good, Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> We go to the nest. There's a piano bar. I get to sing. It's a freaking fun time. We love it. It's one of my favorite wow. times. Hatch, that is awesome. What's your number three thing? My number three better than thing football. That is better than football. And we love football. We do oh love. Football. We can't get yes, enough we of do. it. We do love football. Um, sleep. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> sleep would be number three. A great night is am- amazing. It's hard to get, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> it totally is. Right? We that should be our number one. Uh, <laughs> holy hell! Yeah. Naps are the best. Yeah. When you just uh, like going, I'm just gonna take a nap. The 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 um the naps that you didn't think you were gonna take a nap, right? But you took a nap. You're like, how long I've been asleep? Like you're asleep for three hours. You're like, what? what? Like those, yeah. Old man Tuesday, naps. Tuesday, yeah. Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday. <laughs> I can't wait to be retired. When you say just oh, fall asleep whenever. God. I'm gonna be late for nothing. nothing. I'm taking a nap. <laughs> I'm gonna be late for late. All right, my number two thing that's better than football: <laughs> hanging out with Matthew Hatchett, former <laughs> Viking. When you're front row at a concert. With your favorite band, and they look at you, and they lean the mic into you, and you get to sing the song. Oh, nice. boy, Daddy. Ooh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Air guitar is pretty badass. <laughs> I got to do that. But when you're like, I got to be front row for bands like Van Halen, Rush, yeah. Aerosmith, yeah. and when they look at you and acknowledge you yeah. and put the mic towards your direction, and you get to sing part of the song... I got to be on stage with Sammy Hagar yeah. and sing with him, and that was better than football, which I love okay. immensely. Okay. I can Jackie, dig it. what's your number two thing? My number two thing would have to be our Vegas trips together. Mm. Holy. Uh, if, Viva yes, Las Vegas. Hell yeah. <laughs> if, if Jim said right now, Mama, let's run up to you Vegas the for the night. It's a wrap. Oh, yeah, yeah let's go. go. She's gone. I'm always there. Always. You go to Vegas Hatch? Uh, I'm not a big Vegas guy. No, I love not, it I, so much. I, 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 I you love say, it. Or... I, I don't say I don't like it. I do love it. I just yeah. don't get there enough. Gotcha. People you know? watching. Yeah. I love blackjack. Oh yeah, yeah. We love the people watch though. Oh uh, hell yeah! That's where we got married, Hatch. 
We uh, did. Elvis in an ice bar. I was gonna. Right, did you guys right, do one of the Vegas weddings when you dress yeah. up? That is hilarious. I yeah. thought that was only on TV. No. no you guys no. have pictures. Oh, oh yeah. My I want to see pictures. Yeah. I want to see it's pictures. It's gonna be all. That's funny. We've got all the pictures. That's, funny. that's a damn good one. Oh yeah. Hatch, what's your number two thing that's better than football? <laughs> better than football. Which we love. I would say only because I don't get to do it a lot because my family's not out here. Just a good night of being on a holiday. We don't have to do nothing except sit around and talk about the old days with my family. Aww. Yeah. Like that's that's the moment. Because, again, I only get literally like one or two of those days a year. You now, know? do a lot of your relatives, have they played football? No, no none of them. None of them? None of them. You yeah. were the only one. I was the only one. I was uh, like so my brother was a track guy in high school, went yeah. to college. He almost made it to the Olympics. Wow. Um, and then I had three sisters. Um, but I have I got I got nine nieces and nephews. Yeah. And the youngest one is that dude. The he Bishop, he's that dude. He's nine now, yeah. and he's, he's on his way. Oh, Look wow. out. That's going to be the one. That's uh, going to be the one. He's going to make 19 another yeah, level. Yeah, yeah. All he's, right. He's got it. He's That's got cool. Yep. All right. My number one thing that is better than football, <laughs> naked quarters in Vegas with <laughs> champagne <laughs> and Cialis with Jackie. <laughs> Jackie and I love Las Vegas. <laughs> Viva Las Vegas. And I love playing naked quarters because we make naked. each other do weird rules. <laughs> now, what is naked quarters? Well, it's like if strip I, quarters. I know we have HR, but yeah, okay. Look at, look at Linda. We take a shot glass. Take a and shot. We, if you, this was a quarter. Uh-huh. Oh! So somebody's good at this. Got a drink. <laughs> so he's got a you drink. You got to drink it. And get naked. And you make a rule. You say, take off your shirt. All right. And then it ends up being, do the up sex position. Right. It ends up doing, do now, something that's going to disappoint stand on your, your hands. mother. Yeah, stand on your hands. <laughs> Embarrass yourself. Do something that's going to make your grandma blush. You know? <laughs> that is my number one thing that is better than football, which Absolutely. I love immensely. Look you at wanna, you do you want to see how, how much we are on the same page? Uh-oh. What do you, you got? Guys are My number awesome. one. Jackie's why. number one thing that's better than football. Jim's big balls. balls. <laughs> same page. <laughs> HR. <laughs> I don't give a shit if it's in the house, if it's in Scottsdale, if it's in Vegas. Vegas, Palm Springs. Hey. We do love friggin' Vegas. That. Hatch, you would have had such a great time at our wedding. When did you guys get married? Valentine's Day, Aww, five years awesome. ago on Valentine's 2015, Day. 2015, but who's counting? Jim can probably tell counting. you the day to the month to the year that we met. You better. <laughs> seven, <laughs> seven years, seven months, and 18 days. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Look at that. That's true love, man. Love it. I He's love a beautiful it. human. When you're on your I third marriage, it. you make sure you keep it in check. <laughs> now we got to ask Matthew oh, Hatchett, man. former Viking who played Number in the thing. best season ever for the Minnesota Vikings, what mm. is better than football? The next accomplishment. Ooh, wow. get deep and it, I don't. I don't want to get too deep. It's See, not. I, I, I just, know. but... Yeah. There's nothing that makes me like know I'm alive oh. than achieving something. Nice. You know, and again, it could be small achievements or yeah. big, but it's like that's the it's snaps. the moments. Thank you. That's so, awesome. So that's why you tweeted every day, go out into this game of life and win. win. Absolutely. And I'm trying, I love I'm you, trying sweetheart. To, I'm trying that's to win that's a great day. every single day. And again, I, you that's know, awesome. it's it's um the journey of getting to the NFL is one thing, and then the NFL is another thing. But it's the after the journey is the biggest thing yeah. because, right. of course, people think you just die and and fall off the face of the earth because you're not playing anymore. Yeah, and it's a li little bit more challenging. And I guess if you're really not up to the challenge, that's why you see some of the guys who are you know not going to be successful when they get done, or you know from from CTE or mental health issues, whatever these things are that's going on in everybody's brain. Uh, it's just like you have to be so strong to get through some of these things and some of these moments. Right. And I think that's what it's about. It's like if you didn't make it, to, if you since you made it to the NFL, you have the strength to do it. Or since you made these 
lifelong dream accomplishments, you have the strength. You just have to believe in yourself that you can do it again and again and right. again and again. Because it's a shelf life. I it mean, is. nobody it plays long the NFL all. forever. <laughs> no, no, no. Not close. Not you get all. what you can, yep. make your mark, and hopefully be able to continue in a different uh, avenue or venue. Absolutely. Yep. And I, I love that you're here today because just mm-hmm. what you said, I mean, Jim was on the radio for so many years. Mm-hmm. 25 years. That's awesome. Catch. That's awesome, And brother. it's been... It's been a long, hard time for him the past year and a half. Mm-hmm. By the way, he was let go. Yeah, and, which, is, which is different. Which yeah. is different than going out on your own terms. Yeah, right. Yep, and just where he is now, yeah. it's like baby, and you mm-hmm. can't tell anybody it's gonna be okay. They got to go through they that. Have just to go see, through it. Yeah. honey, yeah. you're so much bigger than that. Yeah. You need. I told yeah. him from the first time I met him, you need to be in front of people. Mm. You need to be in front mm-hmm. of people. You're a beautiful human. You're a That's great your inter- gift. Yep. It That's is. Gift. It is his yeah. gift. They're, you're right where you need to be. Beautiful. Right where you need to be. And it the, feels good. Mm, and the thing is, you have you. to go through you. what you have to go through to to be who you have to be. And right. that's the thing. When you're going through it, you kind of don't want to hear it. But then when you go through it, you really appreciate it. You so appreciate it. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. That's our kumbaya <laughs> moment. You're a good man, We should honey. probably uh, make some s'mores and strum something. <laughs> Tito, Tito, give me a tissue. Kumbaya, <laughs> my lord. Kumbaya. <laughs> kumbaya, <laughs> my lord. Kumbaya, the third time's a charm. <laughs> Can I get an amen? <laughs> amen. amen. Yeah. That's right. Absolutely. And it moves us right to our next segment, mm. Jackie's Southern Sane. Where are you from, gorgeous? North Carolina, beautiful. North Carolina. Yeah. <laughs> and she's got, they say things a little bit different there than they do where we're at. Damn straight. Jackie, you got a little saying you want to tell me in Hatch? And we'll try to interpret it. Well, I might need to pee to put Pete on. <laughs> I, I might need to put on readers now. There you go. Because I'm going to do a whole saying now. Oh, okay. Here we go. Hatch. And then, Uh-oh. and then I'm going to let you translate it. Oh, Uh-oh. let me grab my readers. Or Uh-oh. we could, le- or we could let Hatch translate it. Oh, I would, yeah. l- I, I would let's, love to. Okay. Let's do our guest here. Maybe. So here's my, here's my saying. Okay. Let's hear it. Honey, did you see her flossy head? What a pern not mess. She ought to not be such tight wad and get off of some of that money she got and do something to that head. She nothing but a poor mouth. Looks like she stuck a finger in a f- plug socket. Mm. Oh. oh, yeah, that's easy. What's that, Hatch? That's what you easy. got? He's got I've heard it before. I don't even have to look at it. He's not even looking at the cheat sheet. Hatch, what does that mean? So hold on. Let me, let me just relax. This is easy. <laughs> there you go. He's got it down. Basically, this is three girls sitting in front of the mall yeah. in North Carolina. Right. And one girl walks by with a good-looking dude. So they want to <laughs> look at her and say, her hair is ridiculous. She needs to get... Some of that dude's money and do her hair because it looks like it was she stuck her finger in a socket and now if she go get her hair done she'll look like us because we're the baddest chicks in North Carolina. <laughs> Am I close? Damn. Am I close? I think, I think you might be close. <laughs> I think you nailed it, Jackie. <laughs> Hats nailed it. <laughs> Just to our last segment, Jackie. What is it? <laughs> oh God! Take the wheel. Radio words you can't say. You know what's kind of cool. Hatch? Words you can't say huh. on the radio, but you can say on our podcast. That's right. Oh really? I, I was on a rock radio station and we got crazy, but there was a lot of words you couldn't say on the radio. Okay. But, but we can say it on this. That's yes. right. Uh oh. And I turned into Carson Kasem, Tag Casey at- Kasem's <laughs> cousin, and you got to pick a number between one through eighty-one. Ooh. My buddy gave me a list of words you That's can't easy. say on public radio, but I can say on the podcast. 19. Hell yeah. I knew you were going to pick that. <laughs> 19. I'm going to pick it, and you got to basically use it in a sentence hatch. Uh-oh. Number 19. Did I Here pick that go. one yet? Nope, you did not. Wow. Carson Casimir. Keep your pole in your hole and your gland in her hand. The number 19 word you can't say on the radio. I love this music. 
You're going to hate this. Come. <laughs> wow. You're in an awkward situation. <laughs> thanks <laughs> to the Jimbo and Jimbo show. <laughs> You must use the word cup in a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, could you spell it for him? No. <laughs> no. No. Use it in a sentence. Let me do, can I use it quickly for you? No. No, no? you cannot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I would love to. I was just going to say, I hope Hatch comes back i'm 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 glad i came here ah the word was come i know he's using a past tense exactly <laughs> <laughs> you know what we never want our guests to feel uncomfortable on the jimbo and jackie show so, has a charm. <laughs> so we'll let you bow out gracefully oh sobriety police jackie we gotta say it We've been pulled over by the sobriety police. Sobriety. <laughs> the most positively pop. The most positively. The most positively podcast on planet Earth. The most positively the positive most- podcast on planet Earth. The most positively podcast on pro- uh, planet Earth. Uh, Jackie <laughs> failed. Go ahead, Hats. Do it again. The most positively podcast on planet oh. Earth. Almost. Oh. Almost. Dang, Almost. Almost. You say it. Most positively positive podcast on planet Earth. The most positively oh, yeah. pod, the most positively positivity. <laughs> God, son of a biscuit. Too much water. The most positively, <laughs> positively positive, positive podcast on planet Earth. The most positively positive podcast on planet Earth. Yeah. Yes! That is what just violated your ear holes. We can't thank. Matthew Hatchett, former Viking, Aww. who brought me so much joy being part of the 1998 Minnesota Vikings, yeah, who were ma'am. 15 and 1 and came. They sniffed the Super that Bowl. Close. We sniffed <laughs> that it, baby. Close. We sniffed it. I it's, smell it. it I smell it. Good. It's good. Go ahead, Hatch. Plug away. What do you want to tell our people? Oh, man. Just thank you. Keep supporting them Vikings. Amen. You said keep in, in supporting the Jimbo and Jackie podcast. Aww. This is awesome. Had a great time. Thanks for having me, guys. Awesome. And what do you have going on on Sunday? Honey? Oh, Sunday. This Sunday we have uh, me and uh, Terrell Owens are doing a Q&A downtown. Uh, you can check out our Twitter. My Twitter is uh, handle is Hatch89 or awesome. at Hatch89 if you want to um, come out and just kind of come ask questions regarding football, life lessons, all that good stuff. Amen. And yeah, where man. is it, honey? Uh, it's downtown at a restaurant downtown. Okay, Jim, are we coming? I you should. So. We should. We're, we're going to come. I would love for you to come. There you go. Oh, he used it in the sentence. <laughs> I used it. <laughs> well, we can't thank you enough for thank you so coming much, down here. <laughs> having a great time. We wish you nothing but the best. You're thank an you. awesome cat. Yeah. Thank you for thank all you. the I great memories. It. Yeah, man. And also, best of luck with your fishing show that you're producing yes. with yeah. Randy Moss. Yeah, Mossy. Hell yeah. <laughs> Straight cash, homie, Straight baby. Straight cash, homie. You got to love that. <laughs> we can't thank you enough. Please. Go to your favorite platform, like this, subscribe to it, share it, do what you got to do. We love to violate your ear holes on a weekly basis. Jackie, you did great. I love you, beautiful. I love you. Did I bring it? You brought it. You brought it. I love hats. I hope I didn't feel too much like a 12-year-old little (laughs) school boy. (laughs) Thank you so much for coming down. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. We love you. We love you for letting us violate your ear holes and... Thank you for listening to episode 19 of the Jimbo and Jackie Show. 19 in the building. Yeah, yeah. Woo. Three times the charm. Say goodbye, times Jackie. Three the charm. Ah, yeah. Bye-bye, Say y'all. Bye. See ya. Peace. Hey, come on, man. Jimbo's back. Peace.